Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Spirituality with Gabriella. I've missed you all, and I hope that you're doing well. I hope everybody is feeling happy and delightful, and that you're having a great weekend. And today we're doing an exciting pick a card reading because a couple people have asked me about career, and they really want to know what's going to happen a year from now in terms of my career, my finances my personal growth, my professional development. So that's what we're going to be looking into today. And I'm really excited to do this reading. So let's see what comes through. So we're working with these three piles today, and I'm going to show you them up close. Here we have pile one with the amethyst. Here we have pile two with the peacocks or And then here we have pile three with the red jasper. So take a second and turn your thoughts and your intuition inwards. And then once you find the pile that speaks most to you, you can fast forward using the timestamps below and get your own personal reading. And I will see you all there. Thank you so much. All right, pile one, welcome to your reading. So I have your cards here. Today we are using the Oceanic Tarot deck. So this deck is beautiful. I got it on my recent road trip, actually. I was up in Big Sur. So I love this deck. I think it's amazing. And really excited to see what messages it has for you today about your career and your finances a year from now. All right, so let's start with these. So here you have the Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Star. And I'm gonna start over here with the Four of Pentacles. So for a career reading, I want to tell you that to get the Four of Pentacles as your first card is amazing. Because the Four of Pentacles is all about security, as you can see here, and it's all about balance. It's really about being able to strike a balance in your life between not having enough money, not having too much money, you have just the right amount of money, and I'm getting that it's on the bigger side. So it's going to be more than what you need to live, it's definitely more than what you need to pay the rent, and I'm really getting the sense that there's a lot of opportunities that open up for you over the next couple of years. Part of the reason I'm saying that is because the spirit guides are drawing me to this light that's coming through here at the top. Just like how the light shines into the ocean, you know, it's like this opportunity is shining upon you. So I really do feel like your career is going to grow a lot over this next year. And there's gonna be people who are very interested in your line of thinking. I feel that when I am tapping into your collective energy, what I'm getting is somebody who I would describe as being unique, like a unique thinker or the type of person who doesn't always think in a very linear way, like you kind of think more out of the box. And I think that you're a very creative person too. And it's almost like you're able to meet people or at least get a situation where the people around you are willing to pay for that because they know that they can't just hire anyone like you. You are a special commodity. You bring a lot to the table that's different, that's new. And because of that, that's your unique value proposition. So I think in terms of finances, I also feel like you're becoming more wise um, from now into the next year. And when I say that, I think you become a little bit more critical and serious about saving. It feels like you might have been the person in the past where you have money and you're kind of smart about how you manage your money, but it's not like you have a strict budget for yourself. And I don't think that you need one, just to be very clear. But I do think that what would be helpful is just to have a projection or an understanding of kind of where you're going to be and what could boost it and what could potentially reduce it. And I'm not just talking about the obvious stuff like buying food or paying for your rent. I think it's 
it's wise to think about other things that might be affecting your money that maybe you're not as conscious of in the current moment. And so I feel like over the next year, especially, you become a little bit more critical with that. And it just feels like you're becoming more mature in terms of your finances and in terms of your money. So I do think that good things are coming for you. Definitely feels like security is a theme, which is good. So we also have the Seven of Wands here. And when we see this card, this is about being willing to deal with it over the long haul. So if you're watching this video, part of the reason why you might be watching this video is because you hope that your money is going to boost. And that makes perfect sense because I think, honestly, most of the population <laughs> wishes that. But when we see the Seven of Wands here, there's an energy of you know, really having to be willing to deal with the little annoyances that come up along the way. Because I do think that there will be some. I think there will be things like not just paying your rent, but really putting more energy towards like building out your space, making your place cozy. I feel like a lot of you are moving into a new apartment or house or actually have already made that change. And to me, I'm getting a lot of energy around kind of investing in that. So whether it's the fact that you moved into a new house or something like that, or if it's just something else entirely, you really might face like a couple small roadblocks. And they don't feel bad. They actually feel totally fine. I don't see any significant issues here. But just be willing to kind of deal with it over the long haul because it's not like you're going to go from zero to a hundred. I mean, unfortunately, that's just not going to happen. But you are going to go from wherever you are now, which is like a 50, and then you're going to go to like 90, if you know what I mean. So it really does feel like you make leaps and bounds, but there will be little things along the way where you feel like it does seem like a setback, but it's okay because those are going to pass. So really don't worry about that too much. We have the Queen of Wands here, and this card is all about strategy. It's about ideas. It's about passion. So again, I'm really getting the sense that you're the type of person who's very creative, who is an abundant thinker, and that's something I like about you. I feel like over this next year, you are actually very strong on manifesting specific dreams and goals that you've had for a while. So I'm getting the sense that you know what you want to do with your life, or at least you have a clear understanding of what makes you happy. And over the next year, you're going to be able to do more of it. And when I see the Queen of Wands like this, it's almost like she's holding this trident. And to me, it feels like she is bringing in new energy into her life and she's bringing in new possibilities. So that's something I spoke about previously with the light coming through here. And just look, I mean, this is definitely a theme. You know, some cards have it more muted, but others very strong. This is definitely a theme in your reading that the light is coming through here, that there's new opportunities here. So I want you to focus on that and I want you to know that you are going to be like this queen. You're going to be literally glistening and glimmering and it's almost like there's a spotlight on you over the next year. So I'm getting that you will probably be boosting your public presence quite a bit over the next year. That could be um, making your own business, it could be on your social media accounts, it could be making a YouTube but whatever it is, it feels like you do become more successful and you do become more strategic. And purely by boosting that presence and getting a little bit more visibility, I think the money flows with that. And one thing I always like to say is that money is energy and money is abundant. So a lot of times how we think about money affects the money that actually comes to us. So if we think about money as being abundant and Honestly, when someone pays you for something, it's an experience that you're giving them or it's a product or a service that you're giving them. And whatever it is, the intention is always to make that person feel better when they leave you than when they came to you. And so I feel like if you're able to think about whatever it is that you have to offer in that lens, then I feel like you'll be really successful and people will just keep coming to you because people will just really love your mindset and your approach. And nobody likes to give people money if they're money hungry or if they're coming from like a greedy or even a needy perspective. So if you're able to kind of shift that mindset and just truly believe in your heart that money is abundant, then I'm very confident that you're going to get this security that the Four of Pentacles is showing here. And then here we have the star. 
which is a wonderful card to have in your reading because I know this deck specifically says that the star is about hope. I definitely think that's true. I also think the star is even stronger than that. To me, the star is not about just hope. It's also about destiny. It's about something that is literally in your path that you um, are most aligned with and it's showing that it's wishes that can be fulfilled for you. So again, I said that you already have a strong sense of who you are and what you want to do with your life or at least what makes you happy. And I feel like over the next year, it's like this process of swimming towards it, just like this mermaid is doing here. So right now you might be here and you might have made some advances, but I feel like over the next year you really focus on it. And I kind of get the sense with many of you that there's two things going on. So you might have more of a stable or corporate career as a primary thing, but you might also do something else on the side. Um, and I think some of you have your own businesses too, because I do get an energy of creativity, entrepreneurship. So whatever path it is that makes you feel like your highest self, you know, that's the path I'm talking about when I refer to the star here. Because the star, it feels like at least over the next year, you've almost broken the surface. And so what I would expect, just very honestly, is one year from now, I think that you get really close to the top here. And then the following year, I think, is the year that you truly break through and that money is extremely stable for you. So again, it's a little bit of a journey. It's not overnight, but you get so much progress here. There's a lot of advance. And so it feels like this next year is going to be really, really beneficial for you. And honestly, I really only see positive energy, which is good. So I also have the soul card stuck here, and I'm just going to shuffle. And we're going to see if there's anything else that wants to come through about your finances and money over the next year. Look, you got the star again. Look at that. Wonderful. That's a strong message. I love when that happens. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is hilarious. Look, you literally got the star twice. You also got the queen of wands twice. These both just fell out of the deck. Like you just saw it. And then you got the chariot. So this is amazing. Um, personally, I love this deck, by the way. Whenever I am working with this deck, I feel it has very positive messages. So I love it. But um, especially these two in tandem, like they're kind of different. One's the more creative and one is like the more elegant and mystical. And I just feel like this is a perfect depiction almost of the balance that you're going to start to bring in over the next year. So with the star and the queen of wands, that's double confirmation. The next year is going to be not only creative for you, it's going to be strategic, it's going to be abundant, and it's going to be hugely successful because you have the chariot. So wherever you are now, if you feel like you're struggling or if you feel like you deserve more money or you're having trouble paying the rent or whatever, you can walk away from this 100% rest assured that you are not going to have those issues anymore and that money is abundant. So that's the main thing that I want you to walk away with as you leave this reading is that money is abundant and all of these opportunities are just shining upon you. All you have to do is make yourself ready, available, and willing to do the work. And quite honestly, I feel like the less it feels like work to you, so the more you do what you love, the more abundant and successful you will be. And I see you guys being really successful because I think that one thing you're really good at is not only being creative, but also chasing what you love and not letting it go. So as long as you do that, I really feel like you are going to have incredible success. I don't know if I've ever done a reading where like two of the same cards have fell out on camera. That's pretty cool. So um, to all those people who don't believe in spirituality and probability and all of that, this is an amazing little snapshot here of how cool tarot is. And sometimes when your spirit guides want you to get the messages, they send it loud and clear.
So I'm really happy for you, and I hope this reading gave you some clarity and guidance. If you would like to get a personal reading, you can book using the links in my YouTube banner. I do them on Wizio. I also do live ones via Schedulicity. And if you would like more readings that are not on YouTube, as well as more personalized messages, you can get those on Patreon by joining me. It's um, a small fee each month, but I promise it's worth it, and we have a wonderful community over there. So thank you to everybody who watches. Um, really appreciate it. I love all of you. I'm sending you all a lot of love and light, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye. All right, pile two, welcome to your reading. So I have your cards here in my hand, and I'm just going to shuffle them and see what comes through about your finances a year from now. All right, so let's start with these. So the feeling that I'm getting is that over the next year, a lot is happening to you. I feel like you're not only taking on a lot of responsibility, it feels like you are dealing with immense change over this next year. I'm actually wondering if some of you watching are pregnant or having a child, are moving across the country, Doing something big, something different, and something that feels like more weight, more responsibility. Because what I get honestly is I don't think that this journey is 100% easy, but what I want to say to assure you is it's something that you are definitely meant to go through. And once you go through this, I feel like you're going to be a lot happier once you're on the other end. While you're in it, you might not always feel that way. So it's important to remember you have to get through it because once you're on the other end, you're going to be really happy and really fulfilled. So there's going to be ebbs and flows. That's the honest, the honest truth. But um, I do feel like it, you are left a better person at the end of the day. So let's start over here. So the first card we have is the Ten of Wands. So what I'm getting about you, group two, is I feel like you tend to overcommit yourself. You're the type of person who I feel like you really care about your output. You care about your work. You care about being efficient. I also feel like you're the type of person where when you promise things to people, you really don't want to let them down. You really want to make sure that you follow through and that you do the best that you can do. And I know this sounds kind of funny, but sometimes there are things in your life where you could do an okay job instead of a great job, but you're always striving to do a great job. You just seem like someone who's committed to excellence. You're committed to living a life of abundance, doing the best you can do. And so I think sometimes you put too much pressure on yourself. And then the knock-on effect of this is that sometimes people expect too much from you because you've just been performing so highly for such a long period of time that sometimes there are people who maybe not take advantage, but they just expect, oh yeah, I can give this to that person because they're just going to do amazing at it and they're going to blow it out of the water. But this kind of stresses you out and that's the energy I'm getting. And I kind of feel like this is the space that you're in now. You might be feeling a little bit overstretched or a little overwhelmed with all of the things that you have going on. So my first advice to you is to encourage you to take a step back and really think carefully about which of these things is actually shifting you to become who you want to be. Because if you're doing things just to do it for other people or even to people please. I know that you would never think of it that way, but just think of it that way just as an exercise for now. Then it probably isn't the best use of your time and you could be doing things that fulfill you more. So it's not that you have to do everything that makes you happy 100% of the time, but I really would like you to focus on things that at least get you closer to your goals. So just to give you a quick example, let's say that you have a goal to be an entrepreneur and you've signed up to do freelancing, 
well, yeah, that might be really stressful sometimes, but it makes sense to do it because it's getting you closer to your goal. But let's say in that same situation, you're still working with a company and people are just loading you with projects. You know, it's actually okay to say no sometimes and it's okay to say I'm at full capacity and I can't do that justice. So I think the first thing here, especially over the next year, because there is going to be more coming for you, I just feel it is important to say no. And people aren't going to judge you for it. They might be a little surprised the first time just because you're the type of person who can take on the weight of the world. But once they get used to you saying no and being more transparent about your needs, I feel like they really respect that. So don't be afraid if you're kind of in that space right now where you feel like you have so much going on and you just don't know how to get rid of it. Because when I tap into your energy, I do feel overwhelmed. And I do feel like balance is going to be really important over this next year. So this is the first thing that I wanted to share with you. So we have the Knight of Swords here, and this is the Oceanic Tarot deck, and it interprets this card as drama. So for me, this is a little too intense. However, it can manifest as drama. I don't see it being drama in your um, particular situation. I actually see this as being you setting your boundaries. And whenever I see swords, I see someone who's determined, and I also see a need for someone to be more critical, sometimes more logical. So again, over the next year, you are going to be really busy. And to me, it feels like January to March or April of next year, it's just kind of crazy. Like it's the knock-on effect of um, the previous year and already being busy the previous year and then the next year feeling busy as well. So know that the year is going to start really busy for you, but I feel like it almost serves a purpose to kind of shift you into a new energy. And I definitely get that there's going to be a lot of personal growth over the next year. And I feel like the Knight of Swords here is boundaries. It's also literally cutting away things that are not serving you. Could be relationships with others, it could be romance, it could be people in your professional life, but I feel like there's a heightened sense of self and what you need and really listening to yourself, not anybody else. And my sense with this group is that many of you have lived as kind of a martyr or like a a servant, like servant leadership to others. And that's fantastic because it makes you a very balanced and humble person in many ways. But I also feel like it's good up until a certain point and it's not good if you're really drained. So it's just important that over this next year, it's actually totally fine to set those boundaries. And if you need to let go of things that are not working for you, totally okay. I totally support it because when we see death here and transformation, it's honestly almost called for. So I get really excited when I see this card because this card actually depicts it perfectly. Death is like the hidden treasures. It's like something about yourself that you don't even know the full extent of it yet. And you might already have a sense that things are kind of shifting and changing. Perhaps you feel more in tune with yourself than you did before. Perhaps you feel like you're living in a more authentic way. Perhaps you're even speaking out and saying things that maybe before you just wouldn't because you were afraid or you wanted to be compliant or you wanted to be happy all the time. But I really feel like you are moving into a more authentic space and that actually makes people around you respect you more. And with that, I feel like there is a hidden treasure that comes here. And so I know this reading is about money, and I promise I will get to money, I will get to finances. What I want to say is I think it's really important when it comes to money to shift your energy from a space of doing and thinking that doing all the time is going to make you money to a space of being and respecting your authentic self. Because I kind of feel like to a certain extent, when you're in this energy of doing all the time, it's very cyclical. It's not as high vibe of an energy. But then when you're in this energy of being and living mo most authentically, doing what you really care about, being willing to say no to things, your energy is growing. And so I think that's where the connection to money comes in. Because you're going to learn to say no very much so over the next year. 
And through learning that, your energy is actually expanding, whereas here it's still kind of contracting because you're constantly stressed. There's always pressure. There's always timelines. There's always deadlines. So I really feel like this is a significant shift that takes place. And I'm excited for you because when I see this card, it's just like you are on the brink of an amazing discovery. And by being most authentic to yourself, which I think is the most important message in this reading, I really do feel like you're going to be so much more successful, not only in your personal life and your relationships, but very much so financially. And it feels like once you kind of unlock this, money is flowing into you. And just to be really clear, when I say authentic, it's not that you're living a lie right now. It's nothing like that. It's more that you feel that you have to kind of always be there for the people around you. And this is really hard. It's really hard for me too. So I totally empathize with this. But the truth is you don't always have to be there for every single person. You know, there's a certain group of people who are your core people who of course you're going to be there for it because they're your closest friends, they're your closest family members, they're people you're truly spiritually connected to. But then there's kind of another circle where it could be people you work with, could be other people who honestly sometimes they might kind of take advantage, they might kind of shift things on to you and you don't need to do everything for them because what I'm getting is that they don't always reciprocate. So it's a really hard truth when you feel like, you know, you have a really trusting relationship with someone, you don't want to let them down, but learning to say no is going to shift you into this really positive energy, and from there, you heal and you find more balance. The fact that this is the temperance card in the traditional tarot deck, here it's called the angel of the ocean. The fact that we're seeing temperance and the ten of wands is a very clear sign. So ten of wands is about stress, overburden. The temperance card is all about balance. It's literally about bringing things back into equilibrium. And when I see healing here, I feel like your energy is literally being healed over the next year. And I get that this starts closer to around May, so a little closer to the middle of the year, exactly a year from now. And to me, it really feels like you learn to harness your energy. And by learning to protect your energy really critically, that's actually going to help your money so much. Because I'm getting that it's all about resources. And if you're energetically really drained, then money does not come to you because you don't have resources to give. But if you are energetically boosted and you have so much to give, money is flowing into you. So long story short, I feel like your money is improving, but it will only improve if you kind of are able to put this into practice, which is saying no, setting your boundaries, all of that kind of stuff. And the thing that I want to say is many of us, especially if we have tendencies to want to always help others and be a giver or even please people. It can be hard to go through this journey and you might kind of go through a part that feels a little cyclical to you. You know, I mentioned the beginning of the year is very busy and you might still be kind of working through that energy. I just want you to know that's totally okay. You will be shifting into a much higher vibration, a much more authentic energy, an energy where you don't have to do everything that everyone wants of you an energy where you are being most true to yourself. And once you do that, not only do you transform, you heal, and then there's new opportunities coming for you. So the message here is that sometimes saying no is what unlocks the new opportunities. So I know it seems like a weird message to get in a reading, but over the next year, I want you to actually look for places and times where you can say no more. And really ask yourself, am I doing that because I want to do it? Or am I doing it because I feel like I need to please someone or I need to support them? And then every time you feel that way, you know, really tune into your heart center. Do you feel like that person does that for you? And one thing I want to say is we talk about this a lot in Reiki. When your vibe, your energetic vibe is growing, it's very normal to have shedding shedding of relationships, shedding of people around you who just are not on the same vibe. It's completely normal. It can be kind of painful, but um, it's just like shedding shadow selves, shedding old parts of yourself. And those parts of ourselves are manifested in the people around us. So, you know, as you go through this next year, really 
um, be critical about what you accept in because everything you accept in is energy and everything that you do not accept in is a signal to the universe and the people around you about who you are, you know, how you want to live your life and also the mark that you want to make upon the world. Totally okay to say no. And over the next year, I would really like you to practice that more so that you can be more successful and make more money. So I'm just going to pull any last cards here. We have the Soul Cards deck. And I'm sorry I talked for so long, but this is something that I've struggled with in the past, so I feel passionate about it. <laughs> so if there's anyone out there who I can help just by, you know, reminding them that your cup is full and when your cup is full you're more successful then I will be very happy three cards here we have the magician the empress and the ace of swords these are all very powerful cards the two being major arcana this one being an ace card which is awesome so having the magician here, very powerful. I really feel like your energy over this next year is growing. Whenever we have the magician, this means that you have all the tools available to you. So any self-doubt you have, any kind of feelings of, oh, I'm not ready or I'm not worthy or I'm not good enough, over this next year, that's going to be expelled. And that's something I really want you to work on too, because in saying no, you are telling yourself that your energy is better directed towards something else. And so that can be very powerful. And that's something that I really want you to think of it in that way. Because when you say no, it's not that you are letting people down. It simply means you're using your precious energy towards something that is more beneficial and something that really fulfills you. With this magician card here, you know, I really feel like you have all the tools in your toolbox and you are gonna be successful because of that. And then with the Empress here, that's wonderful for balance. So I mentioned that some of you might be having kids or might be taking on a lot of responsibility. Wouldn't be surprised if some of you are pregnant, having a baby, um, if that happens anytime over the next year, very possible because I feel that you're taking on a lot. But with the Empress, this is also a very healing energy. So the fact you have Temperance and the Empress here, a lot of balance coming through, a lot of um, traditionally more feminine influences, really feeling like you're able to balance um, not only your energy, but through your energy, also your finances, your money, being able to kind of balance the book, so to speak, being able to bring in more abundance. So I would expect that over the next year at the beginning, things are going to be looking the same as how they do now. That's just the honest truth, because you're going to be very busy. However, as you learn to shift your energy, especially around May, so this time next year, your finances are getting a lot better. I would expect that you start to see a boost, and through that boost, you are going to start getting even more opportunities. So one person knows you, then another, then another, then another, then another. And even if you're working in a company, the same holds true, because it feels like your work is amazing, and as long as you're doing the work that is highest aligned to you, you are gonna do an amazing job. And then here we have the Ace of Swords. And when we see the Ace of Swords, this is about being critical. This is about being logical. It's about boundaries. It is about saying no. So again, the message here is really just to stay logical. The more logical you are, and the more you do things for yourself and your own energy, as opposed to other people's energy, the more abundant you will be. And I really do see your finances improving as long as you listen to the messages I shared today. And it might feel kind of uncomfortable at first, but I'm sharing this with you so that you can shift and grow and literally become more abundant because it's right there for you. And you are going to go through this beautiful transformation. So I'm very excited for you. I hope this helped you. I hope it gave you some clarity. And if you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you would like a personal reading, you can always get one using the links in my YouTube banner. And I also have a Patreon now. So if you would like to join me, it's a small fee each month, but you will get access to many more exclusive pick a card readings and many more personalized messages. So thank you all so much. I hope it helped you and I will see you in the next video. All right, bye bye. All right, pile three, welcome to your reading. So I have your cards here and I'm just gonna shuffle them. 
see what comes through for you about your finances over the next year. We are using the Oceanic Tarot deck today, which is a new deck in my collection. So let's see what comes through. And then I'm actually going to shuffle from these two. So these are the soul cards. And I love these. So let's see what comes through here as well. All right, so let's get started. And I apologize if my voice sounds not as amazing today. I don't know what's happening, but I feel like I'm kind of losing my voice. So just bear with me. In any case, here we're going to start with the Three of Swords. As many of you know, this isn't always the happiest card. However, I actually really like seeing this card. And the reason why is because I feel that over this next year, you put an end to something that has really not been serving you. And to me, this feels more professional, but for some of you, it could be a relationship. It's just an energy that it just needs to end. That's the best way I can describe it. And I think you know this on an intuitive level, and you feel this in your heart, and you're just waiting to find the right time. Your spirit guides and angels want you to know that it does need to end, and the feelings that you're having are very validated, especially if you're feeling to yourself, oh, I'm not so sure about this, I'm not sure if this is going to pan out in the long term. They want you to know it's valid and it's true, and they're going to work with you to find the exact time to end this. So honestly, the best advice I can give is just pray to them and ask them to continue to give you guidance and ask them to give you signs like, it can be anything like an email, it can be a butterfly, you pick the sign and you tell them what you need help with and they are going to help you find the divine timing. And one thing I want to say is it can be very hard when we're dealing with these types of endings to shift between our intuitive self and our logical mind and logically it's very easy to continue going about every day the same. And before you know it, three years has passed or five years has passed. But with this thing, I feel it's an energy drain for you. And I really feel it's going to end actually pretty soon. So I'm not too concerned. It feels within the next three months, maximum six months, this thing is going to end. Just know this energy is not going to be important for that much longer. And because of that, I'm just going to move it over here and <laughs> we're going to focus on the rest of the reading. Um... I do see your finances improving quite dramatically over the next year. What I want to say is I think that there is a period of about three months where it feels a little unstable. And there's a couple of reasons I'm saying this. We have the Two of Cups here. And when I'm seeing the Two of Cups, this is a partnership. This is a couple. I'm getting a lot of support around you. I feel like there's someone who's very supportive, really cheering you on really might even help you financially, so that's good. So if you don't know who this person is right now, have a have a think about who this might be, or, or perhaps you're going to meet them in the future. But be very open to having someone to support you, because I think it's going to help you. And it feels like as you deal with this small transition period between this old thing that was happening and this kind of new thing, feels like that person around you is really a good influence. One thing I want to say is it feels like it takes a little bit of shifting. So you might be changing something about your current arrangement. And I get that for many of you, this is with work. You might be shifting your hours, you might be changing your schedule, maybe changing companies, um, or perhaps even just changing departments. But whatever it is, it feels that this is a positive shift for you. And at the beginning, you know, it might be kind of stressful to kind of pull all the strings and make it all work out perfectly. And so there is a period of transition, and I want you to know that. 
But I feel that by doing this, you are getting to an energy of a lot more stability. So when we see the strength card here, this is a reminder that you are very strong. Just like this merman here who's opening this net and letting all the fish out. Without him, they wouldn't survive. They wouldn't make it. But you are just like this man. You're very strong. You are able to support yourself. You're able to do anything you put your mind to, quite literally. And if you just think about this image, this is like the type of thing that takes a colossal amount of effort and energy, and it might feel very draining and very scary at the beginning, but the truth is that you can and you will do it. And so there might be something that feels a little scary to shift and to make this change, and I'm getting that some of you, by the way, have just graduated from university and are making your first moves in the world. So for you, for example, it could be something like the, the months it takes to find a job. But I do feel there is a partnership here, and it feels like that support that you need is there for you. So two messages. One, that there's a significant partnership. This can be at home. This can also be with business. Can be people who want to hire you, for example. And secondly, that... In your quest to find stability, you are going to prove to yourself that you are 10 million times stronger than you thought you were. So we have the High Priestess here, and this card is all about intuition. And, you know, when I was tuning into your energy, it was kind of interesting because I was seeing this Pope-like figure. I don't know if any of you have connections to the church or have been to church recently, but I was just seeing this kind of Pope-like figure and just this feeling of teaching and enlightenment. And I feel like the quest for enlightenment is something that you're going to go on a lot over this next year. And interestingly, doing that is good for your finances. So I'm being very honest with all my readings today. I don't feel like your finances take a jump where it goes from like zero to 80 um, or zero to 100, right? It's just, it's not like that. It's a transformative process. But what does happen is I'm getting that it's almost like layers and it's almost like paving a road. Like you start with the first line of the cement, then you might add more on top of it and then more on top of that and then you kind of keep going. I feel like over this next year, what you're doing is you're building your foundation and to me, it feels like a lot of you are starting fresh. So you might have, um, again, you might have just graduated from university, perhaps you've changed jobs, something like that is going to happen. If it hasn't happened yet, it is absolutely happening for you, and it feels good. I like that shift because in doing it, it is a soul-searching process, and you are kind of paving the way for the future. So it really feels to me like you're starting a new cycle in terms of your career, and it feels like the more that you pave and the more that you grow, the better you will do. So just think of this next year as a building opportunity and just be willing to go layer by layer by layer because ultimately your finances are only getting better. It just means that there's work to put in as you pave all of these different layers. So we have the Five of Wands here and this is competition or so this deck says. When I see the Five of Wands, I don't get too concerned because this is not strong competition and I actually don't see this as being too much external competition. It just feels like the competition is really with yourself and with your own mind because you might tell yourself, oh, I need to do it this way or I need to do it that way or I need to do it the way that my parents brought me up to do it. And the truth is we can kind of throw a lot of that out the window. So I see the intuition and the competition as being very much aligned here because over this next year, you are going through more of a soul searching process. This is very significant for your finances but only because the more intuitive you are and the more you really sit down and focus on building those layers, the better your finances will be. To make this more practical for you, I just really feel it's important to build a plan and it's important to build step by step by step. And as long as you do that, you are going to do really well. So we have three more cards here. We have the three of wands. And when I talk about building a plan, this means that the energy is... Um, getting better for you. It's getting faster. I feel that you are planning ahead. You're being strategic. And by being strategic, you are, of course, going to get more finances. So whatever you can do to save, to invest, plan ahead for the future, to focus on that new job that you want to get, to focus on what is the next step, what is the next evolution of me, then I think the finances are flowing in abundantly. 
And then here we have the Six of Cups. So this I see as a support system around you. These are people that you've known for a long time, like your family friends, your childhood friends, your relationship, whatever it is, I really feel like you have a strong support system and you are going to rely upon it over this next year. There might be a period of short instability, but once again, I just want you to know short instability actually paves the way to stability. So instead of thinking of this as I want to become a millionaire tomorrow, I really would like you to think of this as a paving exercise where you're slowly but steadily paving the way for a better life and a better future. And what is the final outcome, you might wonder? Well, you have the Ace of Wands. This is success. This is manifestations coming true. It's ideas um, coming to fruition. It is abundance in the highest form. So not only will your finances be getting better, you will be successful. You will be more in tune with yourself. You are going to be seeing the real effects of the work you've been doing. And I see that this is coming for you a little closer to the end of next year. So just bear with me. But you are going to have that feeling where you're like, aha, I did it. And everything I've done is 100% worth it. So I hope this reading gave you some clarity and guidance today. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can share it if you feel so inclined. If you would like a personal reading, you can book using the links in my YouTube banner. I do them on Wizio, which are recorded videos, and I also do them live on Schedulicity. And last but not least, you can also join me on Patreon. I have a um, account set up now, and I will link it down below. So if you would like to join, I would absolutely love to have you. We have a beautiful and very supportive community already, so it's been a joy. And I would love to see you there. So I will see you in the next video, and thank you so much for watching. All right, take care. Bye-bye.